Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Rick from Excel Gorilla, and in this video I'd like to show you a way how to count the number of occurrences of a piece of text in Power Query. Let's get to it. Okay, let's have a look in Power Query. For this case, I've imported two poems. This is the first poem and the second one. And let's imagine for our exercise, what we want to do is count the amount of occurrences of the word you. Now, the first thing to notice is that Power Query is case sensitive. So the U that we have here as a first word is considered different than the U that we find down here. So before we can get started, it would be good to make sure that all the text right here is lower cased. And you can go do that by clicking on the column, go into the Transform tab, Format, Lowercase. So now that everything is lowercase, the next thing we can do I'm going to show you two ways today. So the first way involves getting a custom column and you can use a function that's called text split. You select the text column and let's say we want to see each of the words. So we're going to split it by a space and have those in between parentheses. And this is the words list. Now if you press OK, a list item is added as a new column here. And if you click on it, you can see that each of the words is now contained in a single uh, item in the list. Now the next thing you want to do is make sure that from these words that we're only going to count the ones that has you in there. So if we're going to edit in our formula bar here, one thing that you can do to filter a list is use the function list select and then it's still in your select function wants to see how you want to filter this. So just before the last parenthesis, we can add a comma and say that each of these, and then you have to do like a lower stripe, lower dash, equals, and, the, and this, this low stripe here, it indicates that it's going to do this for each of the values, for the values in this list, because the list itself does not have a name. So each of these values has to be equal to U. And this is going to work now because we have no capital letters. Otherwise, we would have to include both. And now if we click on search and OK, you're going to find that this list now only has the amount of use in here. And the last thing that we're left to do is count the amount of items in our filtered list. So what we can do again is we go here, we write list count, and we close our brackets, and we press Enter. And now by looking at this, you find that we have 14 times U for the top uh, poem and just eight times for the bottom one. Now that's the first method that I show you. So for our second method, we're gonna start out very similar by adding a custom column. And the first thing we'll do is write text split. We double click the column with text and we're gonna split it by the column that says U. And we call this column list and you'll find a whole list here of the text that is split by you now one thing that we forgot to do is start out by removing all the moving into lowercase okay so after getting into lowercase and splitting your text we're going to find the whole list of words here but one thing happened here that's not meant to happen, and you're going to find that some of the sentences here that have been split start with an R. And the reason for this is that there's the word your sometimes. So if you go back here, you'd find that, um, right, you arrive, it says like of being your man here. And those are not the sentences we're looking for. So when splitting our data, what we can do is change this U to a U and a space. So we only pick the words that are you. Then if we go to the list, we have now less. And we could then count the amount of occurrences in our list. So we can do a list count. And we can close our brackets. Now, the number that we count here is not the correct one yet. As you can see before, we had 14 and 8. And it shows us a 15 and 9 here. And the reason for that 
is because when you're splitting each of the sentences with the word you, there is always an additional row that's being split. So to make this work, you would have to write this one minus one. And we can click the confirm button here. And that's how you do it. That's how you can count all the occurrences in Power Query. If you have any other suggestions, please let me know down in the comments. And I hope to see you next time.